My name is Kieran O'Connor. I lecture in medieval archaeology at NUI Goy. Roscommon Abbey is the building that you see behind me. Now, in a way, the term abbey is a misnomer because it's actually a Dominican priory. It was founded in 1253 by Phelim O'Connor, the King of Connacht at the time, for the Dominican Order. The Dominican Order uh, was founded in the early 13th century by a Spanish priest. Roscommon Priory is regarded as the first Dominican house in Ireland that was founded solely in a Gaelic context. Irish princes, Gaelic Irish princes like Phelim O'Connor, had patronised the Dominicans. Well, he clearly was impressed by their spirituality and the fact that they were, you know, had, had already in the 30 years or so, 40 years since they'd been uh, founded, not even 40 years, had gained a, a reputation for being tremendous preachers and orators. And I think Phelan wanted the Dominicans to come and give spiritual guidance through um, preaching and things like that to the people in the, in the area of Roscommon. Of course, a great prince, if you like, or lord like Phelan, wanted to patronize the church to atone for sins, but also to show his status as a great lord. You know, this was seen all over Europe at the time. Certainly by the 11th or 12th century, if not far earlier, had become a very important monastery. Uh, the, the actual original monastery of Roscommon lay to our north on the site of where the uh, St. Comyn's uh, Church of Ireland Church is today. Uh, there's clear that it's clear that there was a lot of intellectual activity being carried out in Roscommon, particularly in the 12th century, under the patronage of uh, the monastery, which adopted the Augustinian rule in the 12th century, but also under the patronage of the O'Connor Kings of Connacht. So we think that uh, Roscommon in the mid 13th century and for at least a century or two beforehand had become a great centre of learning and also art as well. It would also appear that Roscommon under the O'Connors in the 13th century had developed into a town. So what we have here in 1253 when the Dominicans uh, are brought here by Phelan O'Connor is probably a centre of learning at Roscommon, a centre of metalworking, artistic endeavour. So all in all, uh, in the mid-13th century, this was an attractive place for the Dominicans to come and build and you know, start their priory. In terms of its history, the history of the Priory is very much that of Roscommon throughout the Middle Ages. In the mid-15th century, about, well, 1445, we hear that the Priory has been damaged by war and neglect and the, the Dominicans here get a papal indulgence to carry out building repairs. But then, with the Reformation, the reconquest of Ireland by the English government in Dublin, Roscommon Abbey is confiscated from, and the small amount of lands attached to the Priory, it's confiscated by the Dublin government and eventually is granted to a new English administrator, Sir Nicholas Mulby. The Dominicans seem to have left the Priory, but they continue to live in the town of Roscommon. And that uh, community existed well into the 19th century. But for our purposes, after about 1570 or so, the priory here uh, was laicized, if you like, and became the property of various new English uh, settlers. Mm -hmm.